So I thought I would do a little room tour video of my nail studio, my at-home nail studio, and also an organization video. So I was going to originally do them separate, and then I just figured I'd put them all into one um, because I honestly don't have a huge room or a huge um, nail studio, so there's not really going to be that much to go over there. Um, so I just figured I'd put it all in one. So be forewarned, it is going to be a longer video if that's not your thing. Totally cool to skip the whole video or just fast forward through bits. Um, I won't take offense at all. And um, and I also wanted to just say that I hope that everyone is, you know, hanging in there through all this COVID stuff, staying healthy and staying sane and um, enjoying time with your family or in my case, I'm alone, but I'm enjoying time with my kitty cat. <laughs> Although she's sick today, guys. I have to take her into the vet. That's a whole nother story. Anyways. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to start with the room tour, then I'm going to go into the drawers and my desk um, and show you guys how I organize everything. So if that's something you're into, stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome to my nail studio. I absolutely love it. Now the first thing that I want to mention is actually my light. So I got this light at Costco several months back so i'm not sure if they still carry it but i will um i do have the box for it still in the garage so um i will go out and get all the information and the name of it and everything like that and post it so that if it might still be at costco or maybe you can look for it on amazon or something similar um but what i will say is it's a crystal flush mount chandelier it's super super bright and that's one of the things that as nail techs we are always looking for good lighting because as we know when we're not only doing clients nails but when we're filming videos we want to have a lot of light i don't even need to have my windows open when i'm doing nails in here so that's a bonus um and the other cool thing about it is it leaves like a really pretty um effect on the walls or the ceiling I should say um, I've actually had a few clients who've asked me oh how did you paint the wall like that <laughs> thinking that I painted it um, unfortunately I cannot take credit for that um, it's just a reflection from the chandelier and it just really it looks really pretty and in a, a room like this where you don't really have a lot of I mean you could paint the ceiling in the walls but I didn't want to so it just is something adds a little extra zhuzh to the room so now I'm gonna go into the room and first I'm going to show you um, my little office area. So across there is my bedroom. I always keep that shut. Mika has her little bed over here that she rarely uses. Um, and then here we have my little office area. So prior to this being my nail room, um, it was a large office. Um, and I did have a day bed in the side, um, in the other side. But now that it's my nail room, I still needed some office space. Um, because I do have a very small home. So this worked out perfectly um, just to fit it in this little corner. So these are two Alex drawers and then this is a Linman tabletop. Now of course um, you know I wanted to utilize as much space as possible so I did press uh, so excuse me push the drawers as far out as possible which left a little space here um, where the table is not quite long enough it really doesn't matter like it fits perfectly it's a perfect amount of space for me and what I need to do um, and then this here I actually purchased from Ikea as well I don't have the name of it offhand um, but I will again try to link everything below um, I originally bought this to put onto my nail desk so that clients would put, rest their hands over it it would give me some extra sp storage space because I've seen several nail technicians using it just for that Unfortunately, I did not like it. I didn't like it how my client's hands sat on it. I just, I was not a fan. So personally now I've used it on my office desk and it's perfect, adds a little extra storage. Total thumbs up. Um, I get asked quite often where I got these little pegboards from. Um, they're super cute. They've got a really pretty little detail on them. They're plastic, of course. And I got them from the Dollarama. Um, so they did have larger ones as well, but when I went back to get a larger one, they didn't have any left. And so I have three of these and it was perfectly fine for what I needed. So that is that area. Now move over to the little snack station, coffee station, hot chocolate station. Um, so again, this unit here and there, they are two separate units. They are also from Ikea. Um, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here, there we go. 
So they are also from Ikea. The boxes are also from Ikea. Um, I believe that the style or the name of these um, units are called Eket, E-K-E-T. Um, the boxes, I don't have the name. Now I will say about the boxes that when I looked at them to order them online, they looked a little more pink in the photo and they are definitely more of a peach color. So if you compare them to my pillows, for example, my pillows I would say are a blush pink. Um, so you can tell these are a lot more peach. But again, they go fine in the room. It's really not that big of a deal if you're not you know, so obsessed with being perfectly matchy-matchy. Um, and then, of course, I have my little mint, tealy, blue Keurig. And let me mention that I recently went on to the Keurig website and they actually have that in blush pink and gray. So I would have bought blush pink, of course, originally, but the, the mint blue matches perfectly because I do have other, you know, things that have that tealy mint blue color. So it works perfectly fine. But if you're looking for a pink one, check their website. They've got them. And then, of course, I just have another little pegboard over here with business cards of family, friends, clients um, who are selling either other services or products um, just to, you know, support local. So then we're going to go to my bench. Um, I've been asked a lot about where I got my bench. I got it at Winners. So, of course, like everything at Winners, it's kind of a one time. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Um, so I did, but I've seen them carry several other ones just like this. Um, so I'm sure if you keep your eyes out, Winners Marshalls, you can find something like that. Um, my throw blanket I got in the US somewhere, I don't know. It's super cute, I love the pom-poms on it. And the pillows I got from Gordman's in Minot. So um, moving on to the desk area and my workspace. Um, so the one thing I will say is as I'm sure you could see when we entered the room, I have peak ceilings. So that was the only downside to moving up here was that I lost a lot of wall space um, to hang things or put up photos. Um, you know, I still have quite a few things that were on my walls downstairs that I don't have up here hung. So um, unfortunately, I was unable to fit all of my nail polish racks over by my desk. So I did have to put some over here, not the end of the world. I just keep the items over here that I don't tend to reach for very often. So I have all of my polishes that I use for my toe parties, my stamping polishes, and then just gel polishes that, again, like I don't tend to reach for them on a regular basis. All right, so let's get into the actual desk now. So yes, I am using an Ikea desk. I'm gonna see if I, yeah, I'll zoom out a little bit. It might be easier, there we go. So um, the desk in itself, this um, unit here and this unit here are again two Alex drawers. The desktop is another Linman. It's the longest one, I believe it's six feet. And then this over here was actually custom built by my dad and my uncle and it is what houses my, um, my vacuum, my shop vac. So I'm gonna open it up just so you guys can kind of get a look inside. So again, I've just got my shop vac there. Um, I don't know if you can see, but let me see if I tilt this a little bit. Perfect. So right here is the hose. It goes into a hole here and then it comes up. And there's just other stuff in there that I don't use on a regular basis. So then the hose would normally come up here and it would just lay across my desk. And then I work on my clients. When I'm done, I just kind of shove it back. Sometimes it falls back in there, but for the most part, it just lays up here. Now, originally, I'm just gonna close this cabinet real quick. So originally when my dad and my uncle did my desk, this was actually elevated. My lights were underneath and my hose ran underneath and I had a little hole here. Now, the hole was probably maybe about like that big. Um, and the problem with that was in order to get the best suction, um, I had to have my client's hands right over the hole. So I was oftentimes having to have my clients kind of move back and forth with their chair, which was really annoying for them. It was kind of annoying for me. So I actually much prefer um, just having the vacuum because I can move the hose where I want. So I move the hose, if the client's hands over here, I just back up the hose. And then like I said, I just slide it back. 
So um, I, I really like the system that I have going on now. I'm really happy with it. Of course, my end goal is to get a Nova Flare. Um, like everyone, <laughs> we all want Nova Flares. Um, but of course, if you've been researching them at all, they are a little bit pricey. So for now, this is the system I'm gonna be using until I can save up enough to get um, one of them beautiful Nova flares. So um, yeah, so that's it for um, that part of the video. I am just going to do the um, desk tour, or not the desk tour, sorry, excuse me, the drawer organization video next. So hang in there. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to rip through this video as quickly as possible, but I'm starting with the drawer that's on my right. Again, this is an Alex drawer unit from Ikea. And the first drawer is boring. <laughs> it is just Kleenex and gloves and my handy dandy vet tape that I used to um, wrap my fingers. Now the one thing I did want to mention and the reason I did want to open this drawer is that if you um, struggle with any kind of carpal tunnel or wrist issues or hand issues, I actually find wearing a larger glove works. So I actually am a medium size glove wearer, but on my right hand, because I struggle with my right hand um, and issues with carpal tunnel and things like that, I actually went a size up and it helps tremendously. So yeah, it's kind of annoying that it's not as tight um, and you kind of have to pull on it sometimes to adjust it, but it's much better than having a ton of pain because I find when I wear the medium, it's just so restricting and it just causes pain in my right hand. So little tip or trick for you guys, if you struggle with any kind of wrist or hand issues, try going up a size in your gloves. So now the second drawer is a personal drawer. It's just got um, personal stuff in it, lip gloss, other things. No, there's nothing naughty in there. I know some of you have a dirty mind, but there's nothing in there that's naughty. I'm gonna go down into the third drawer. Now this is the drawer that I keep all of my paints in. So I have a watercolor palette here that I got at Michael's. Have these acrylic paints um, I believe I got them at Michaels as well they really work um, good it's just that I think I because they're in a box I tend to just reach for these guys because they're already out um, so these are all my acrylic paints I have bowls that I use for soaking my clients nails who are getting removals um, you know pliers because if your nail glue gets stuck you gotta plot pry it open um, just a little dappen dish for water with my acrylic and then I use a mortar and pestle for grinding up um, all of my acrylic mixes, my glitters and stuff. So I have the, I think this is the pestle part. I have the mortar on my desk. So that's what's in the second drawer. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as possible so you guys are not sitting here all day with me. And then the next two drawers are the fun drawers because they are the glitter drawers. So these containers I actually got at Michael's and generally, um, if I have a client who's like, um, say, she says, oh, I'm looking for um, green. I want to look at your green glitter. Um, I just slide them like this until, oh, there's a pack of green. So then I just have to lift this up, obviously. So, I mean, it's not the, the most perfect system, but out of all of the ways that I have organized glitter, which is probably 20 different ways since I have started doing nails, this is by far my favorite. I love these containers from Michaels. Um, it may take you a little bit to get as many as you need, um, and they are a little pricey. If I remember, I think they were around $12 each, but obviously just use a coupon. Get your dad, your brother, your kids, your mom, your sister, your aunt, all to come with you and use coupons and get as many as you can in one shot. Um, so basically when a client says, um, you know, they wanna look at my glitter, they'll say, oh, I wanna look at your blue glitter. So I'll just pull out the two, um, I think I have actually more than two, but we're just gonna pretend I only have two. And they're always so amazed, first of all, when you pull out all your glitter, they're just like, oh my God, you have so many glitters. And it's like, yeah, girl, I do. So they get very excited, I get very excited because who doesn't like looking at glitter? I mean, hello, look at all these bad boys. So it's super fun for them. Um, I think I personally have close to 600 in total. And these are all raw glitters. So that means they're not mixed with any kind of gel or acrylic or anything like that. Um, now the only downside that I would say to my system, and it's my own fault, is that I did not 
take the labels off of any of the original jars and put them on the new jars when I was repotting them. So sadly, I have no idea where any of my glitters are from. And unfortunately, I am starting to actually run out <laughs> of a lot of my glitters and I cannot replace them because I don't know where they're from. So I'm just gonna show you another pot or pack of the purples super pretty so my advice is don't be a dummy like me make sure you take all of your labels or even if you want to write on the back with a label maker or with a sharpie just make sure you you write on the back where you got them or what brand they are so that you can um, re um, purchase them so that's this drawer so this drawer houses all of my colors so yellows oranges reds greens purples all of that is in this first drawer and then the second drawer has all of my silvers, my blacks, um, grays, gold, rose gold, and then in the back, <clears throat> I have my glitter mixes. So um, basically anything that I have purchased that is a multicolor or has multicolors in it, um, again, I never labeled them, so once these are gone, I won't know where to purchase them. <laughs> so bad on me, but that my friends is the glitter okay guys so moving on to the drawer on my left it's another ikea alex drawer the top drawer houses all of my top coats and nail resins or nail glues um, i also have like extra cuticle oil extra primers top coats these are all like things that have not been opened they're brand new um, I also have some um, e-file new e-file bits here that I'm like, looking forward to trying they're actually for getting underneath the nail and smoothing things out I have my little um, pincher clips this is just an old tip that I that I made one day I don't know and it I had it tacked to something and it fell off. I usually have a bunch of um, buffers cut up in here as well. And then obviously more of my e-file bits, my main two top coats that I use, and some forms. And if you can see in the back of the drawer, I actually have two more rolls of forms that fit nicely back there. And here are my clean implements and my dirty implements. And underneath is just another empty package. So not a fun drawer, but a definite necessary drawer then we go into this second drawer here and these containers I purchased at Marshall's and the reason that I have the things that are in here in the containers is because I find it easier to um, get to so this one obviously you can't get to unless you move this one so um, in doing that if I had like six pots or six containers here I'd have to kind of move several of them in order so it just makes it a lot easier to pull out this one box when I want to get at this one um, so that being said what's in here is my stamping stuff so these containers I actually got at Michaels they come in uh, this color it's like a minty tealy blue color and also a blush pink so perfect for my room and they come in different sizes and she has um, she Michaels has several different types of containers that come in those colors so if those are your colors hit up Michaels well when Corona is over and you can go back to Michaels but for now I think you can do curbside pickup so um, anyway so this is my stamping box so I've got all of my rectangular stamps here underneath here I have the larger ones they're just laying flat obviously here I have um, all of my smaller round ones and square ones in this container here I have extra stamping um, stampers and I actually found this I didn't think I had stamping gel but apparently I do I, it was actually back here hidden underneath kind of. so I'm gonna use that at some point and then here I just have all of my stampers that I use on a regular basis with my scrapers and so when I need to get to the other box this one um, all I do is I kind of prop it up oopsies I prop it up on the side like that and then I just lift it out. Yes, it's heavy because there's metal plates in there. Um, so now into this box, I have all of my pigments. So these are not the chromes. These are metallic pigments, um, neon pigments, just your solid colored pigments. I have tons of them from all over. I have glow ones from um, Easy Flow, some neon 
neon ones from Elite or Vibrato. I have another neon one from Crystal Nails. Um, there's some cosmetic ones. So yes, these are just all of my pigments. So I have those in there. Let's slide that back. Put this bad boy back and move into the next drawer. So in this drawer, I have all of my striping tapes, which <laughs> most nail techs hate striping tape. <laughs> but um, we have it because it does look pretty cool. I'm gonna show you this one. I got this one quite a while ago actually, but I haven't used it yet. It's like a rose gold glitter striping tape. It's three different sizes. So I haven't used that yet, but I do need to use it. The little containers that I have, I got off of eBay. These ones here are all, just flip that. They're all individual, and then these ones actually stack together. So I'm sure some of the suppliers um, locally probably carry things like this. Um, most of my stuff I've purchased a long time ago. Um, I have these finger covers. I have no idea where I got them from. I do not really use them anymore. I used them more so when we were doing um, water marbling. So moving on into this, these two little containers here, I have my sponges and my finger condoms, and then I have the little applicators that you get with all different chromes and um, the replacement sponges for my sponging tool that I just used in one of my videos. I just have some extra little jars here. Um, I have hundreds of these, so I just kind of have some just extra here because they fit perfectly. And then in these two containers, now these containers I got at the Dollarama here in Regina, and um, they're perfect size. They fit perfectly um, in the drawer, as you can see, they fit perfectly. So this one I just have all my dried flowers, which I'd like to get some more actually. Um, first of all, because I want this <laughs> container to be a little more full looking because I'm a little OCD. But second of all, I just wanna start working with them a little bit more. So anyways, I have dried flowers. And in this container, I have all kinds of just little um, things that I, I really don't use them very often. It's almost like I've forgotten about them over the years. Um, but I have just um, some flame stickers, some decals or stencils, some mermaid type of kind of paper stuff. So that stuff just fits in there and it fits really perfectly in those little containers. So I've got those two. And then I've got my foils. This one I get asked about quite often. So these containers um, are from the Dollarama. Again, I think I paid maybe $4 for them. And basically I have all of my foils still rolled up in the container. So I know that there's some nail techs out there that really like to um, cut them into small pieces and then just throw, like put the pieces, stack the pieces into these little, um, uh, I don't know, whatever you call these cubes. But I prefer to just keep them rolled up the way that they come. And then as I need a piece, I will just cut um, a piece off and then put the roll back and you are good to go. Right, so moving on to the bottom drawer of this Alex cabinet. Now this one, this um, Alex unit comes with the bottom drawer for um, file folders. So the reason I wanted this one was because I wanted to be able to place all of my larger or taller jugs and bottles and stuff right next to me so that every time I want to refill my smaller, you know, containers that I keep my alcohol or my acetone or my cavicide or whatever, um, I'm, I just wanted to be able to have it at reach. So this drawer unit is perfect for that because this bottom drawer is tall enough. So I've, like I said, I've got monomer, I've got all kinds of th things in here. So if you're looking for something taller, make sure you get the Alex drawer that has the bottom drawer for um, file folders. All right, so moving now to the left of my desk and into another Alex drawer. This is the larger one um, that most of us have. I actually have another one downstairs. Um, so here I just have a couple of nail polish racks with obviously gel polish, gel paints. At the top are the ones that I have custom mixed. Um, and then on top of the desk, I have these containers. And in these containers, as you can see, they're alphabetized and they just have, um, 
I've made file folders, or sorry, not dividers. I've made dividers, alphabetical divide, dividers, and this is where I keep all of my clients' nail files individually for each client. Um, so that I like. I love these containers, first of all, because they're pink. <laughs> and they fit perfectly. So I got them at Michael's. Then I have this container here and this, not a container, I guess it's a pouch um, and or book. And it has all of my brushes that I use for gel paints and a lot of nail art brushes um, I have there. This is my prep. I've put it in this squeezy bottle because I just, that's how I like to use it. It works really good for me. I actually squeeze it into a Dappen dish and then I use a brush like so and that's what I use to actually clean and prep the nails and get the dust off before applying product this is just my wipe then I have alcohol and acetone my um, monomer primer cuticle oils a dusting brush all kinds of scissors and little things some more nail art brushes and some um, what is this called <laughs> oh my god hand sanitizer why am I drawing a blank um, so that's the top of my desk. This container here I got at Michael's and it works really well. There's actually a little drawer and I've got a bunch of little doohickeys and things in here, little dust brushes and just things that I'm not really using, I guess. Um, now back here I have a, um, I don't know if it's a coat hook or whatever, kind of a hook um, system with all of my swatch sticks. Now I will say that I actually prefer to have them placed on this side of the desk behind me because um, before when I had them on the desk over here and the clients could just kind of look at them and reach for them whenever they want, I found quite often they would change their mind several times while I was doing their nails because they would see a color and they'd be like, oh my God, let me look at this or let me look at that one. Oh my gosh, look at that. So I find that it helps a lot with that if you're struggling with something like that, um, just to have them behind you. And when they want to look at them, they just say, oh, can I look at your purples or can I look at your greens or whatever? And you just, you just hand them to them. But I do find that I, I prefer this system much better. They stay in order because a lot of times when clients were looking at them, they would, you know, put them back in the wrong order. It's not a huge deal, but then it's harder for you to find the ones you're looking for. So this way I find it's more organized and more in order and I can find things a lot quicker. So that is that. Let's move into the actual drawers. Okay, so top drawer has all of my core powders, my files. Um, these are mixes that I have mixed. This one is actually what is on my nail. It's a very pretty glitter mix. Um, I, I have a lot of like soft pink blush kind of glittery shimmery mixes. There's a couple more back there. Um, so those are sort of main ones that I use. A lot of my clients really like the soft blush shimmery look so um, I go through these a lot um, so I have that stuff I have business cards and promo cards and cards here in this container I have all of my swatch sticks and my tips that I use for doing tutorials and practicing and playing around and then in the back drawer I have um, another core powder it's a blush pink and I use that to do a lot of my custom mixes and then I have a couple of empty jars in the back that are like these ones here um, and then this is actually silk so I'll use this if a client badly badly breaks their natural nail um, I'll put a little tiny piece of silk in there with the acrylic and it'll just give it that extra strength so that it doesn't re-break and then I have wipes um, I have some primers that are just kind of backup primers um, in case because I did have a situation where the primer that I was using I couldn't get it so I had to have some backups um, I do have this pot of gel that I would never use on a client it's so old but I just have it in case there's some kind of a nail art um, technique or something that I want to try and I need gel I just have this as as for that reason um, and then this is just one of those little um, let me see if I can open it up here <clears throat> this is just one of those little practice tip um, diamond thingies the magnetic thingy so I haven't used this in a while because I've just been using my swatch sticks and I actually find that a lot easier um, but this is still good to have so I just have that there and then of course my very good girlfriend Crystal bought me Okay. 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 <laughs> she bought me that so every once in a while I'll give it a little push and it just makes my clients laugh so on to the next drawer so the next drawer is where I have 
all of my Swarovski crystals. Um, I have four packs of these, or four of these containers from Michaels. So the first two here are my main colors that I reach for. Um, this one is the one I obviously will reach for the most because it has the clear, the Aurora Borealis, um, the white opal, the rose gold, you know, the, the ones that most people will go for, I have them in there. And then the second pack that was underneath, I have all of the colored Swarovskis. So tons and tons of different colors. And then I have this random, um, what do you call these, metal studs, just because I think I ran out of the place in the other container pack. So then the next one, I have some gold leaf stuff, pearls, again, more of these little metal studs, and just several other embellishments. I have these, which are like little spikes. I've put those on nails, they're kind of cool. Um, little rose gold embellishments. And then the last one is one that I really barely ever touch. I have some Fimo pieces there, um, some more Fimo pieces here, Canada, um, Canadian flag little pieces, um, some flowers. So just stuff that I don't use very often, but I don't want to throw, like, I mean, hello. Never know when you're going to need a googly eye. <laughs> so anyway, so that's what's in those containers. The awesome Swarovski crystal collection, which we love. And then these are just small little containers with miscellaneous things. There's some glitter and some molds in here. Um, some, I don't know, what do you call these for rhinestone dishes and some cut up foils that I have. This is like stuff that clients have brought me over the years that they wanted to use in their nails and I've just kept it for them. Okay, so now these two containers. So this one here has a ton of different um, glitters and some sort of, I don't know what you call these, chromies, I guess. Um, again, just items that I've bought and I honestly haven't used half of them probably. There's some hexagon glitters. These are bats, um, obviously some Fimo. Um, this one from Joann's, it was a sample. It's actually a really pretty little um, dot glitter. And then I've got snowflakes and there's like fall leaves, all kinds of stuff. More snowflakes over here. And these are just from tons of various different places. So I've got that one. And then this one is where all of my chrome and unicorny chrome pigments are. So I've got the ones from Joann's, which are my absolute all time favorites. And then I also love the Luminari, Luminara, excuse me, Aurora. And then I've got this one from Luminara, this one from um, Luminara. This one is from, uh, I can't remember the brand, but I got it at the Pink Chair. It's a really good silver chrome. Um, the Luminara are also all from the Pink Chair. So is the Joann's. The rest of them, I have no idea where they're from, but they're very cool as well. So these are all my chrome and unicorn chrome pigments. Then underneath of those, <laughs> I have some more embellishments, <laughs> some crystals that are not Swarovski. Um, these crystals are pretty cool, but I've not used them. I've got caviar beads, um, all kinds of stuff, um, like buttons. Again, you never know when you want some buttons on your nails. Um, but again, these are just things that I don't use very often. So I'm gonna pull those out. And then we're gonna go into this bad boy. And I'm gonna actually pull it out onto the desk um, just to make it a little easier to access. And this has a ton of um, flakies and there's some chromes again, um, but mostly it's flakies and some glitters. So I've got a lot of these, if not all of them might be actually from Born Pretty, um, except for this one. This was from, from Vibrato and it's a, it's supposed to be rose gold, but it honestly, it looks more copper to me, um, but it's a, like a flake. Um, so these ones are really pretty. I have showcased these in a tutorial that I did and they are very, very, very pretty. Um, they've got the holographic, um, holographic-ness, I guess. <laughs> holographic effect to them. 
Um, same with these ones. These are like a glitter, chunky glitter mix. They have a holographic effect to them as well. Super pretty. Um, these ones here are actually color changing. So I've just written on the bottom what colors they change to. And then there's some flakies here. We've got these flakies as well, which are um, color shifting. Very, very cool. Here's another one that's really cool. It's like blue to purple. So basically all of my um, flaky bits and um, chunky kind of glitters and stuff that I got from Born Pretty, they're all in here and everything is super, super pretty. And also in this drawer I have my Sharpie markers and then just my different magnets that I use for my magnetic um, gel polish. Now moving into the next drawer, this is where I keep all of my Glam and Glitz collection. So I've got quite a few um, and I, you know I'm a very... Uh, off and on with Glam and Glitz. Some of their colors are amazing and go on really well, and then others, they marble and can be a pain to work with. And to be honest, I feel like that is every single acrylic collection out there. I don't think there is one perfect collection that every color works great. I feel like it's the same with gel polish and gel paint. So that's why most of us tend to mix our colors, right? We buy different ones because a pink might be it, like this one might be amazing um, in Glam and Glitz, but then you might find a blue that you love in some other um, acrylic. So anyways, these are my acrylic Glam and Glitz um, bot jars and I have them all numbered and um, organized by number. And then I have a few random other ones over here. So the next three drawer drawers are the drawers that have all of my custom um, mixed glitters and acrylics so as you can see I've got purples um, they go from glitters and solids and then I've got my pinks again glitters and solids and in the middle I just have empty jars so when I mix a custom color I'll grab an empty jar mix it up and then I just put it back here and I make a swatch for it and flip it over and it has it'll have its little <clears throat> swatch excuse me like these guys do in their number and that is it and at the back of the drawer I have just extra large jars um, that I've kind of hidden away because well OCD makes this look much better now one thing I wanted to mention is if you find your stuff is not fitting in the drawer properly or things are sliding around just go to the dollar store and get yourself some of this um, I forget what it's called it's not cork board but ugh, I forget what it's called um, but it's like a cardboard it's, well, it's not cardboard, it's styrofoam in the middle, but kids use it to do art, like projects at school and stuff like that. Anyways, I just cut it to fit, and that way nothing moves around. And at the back, I've actually, over here, I've actually stacked several pieces, taped them, so that way nothing slides around everything when I shift my drawers or slam my drawers. Nothing moves around, everything stays where it needs to be. So that is the purples and pinks. Now we're going to move into the reds, the oranges, corals, yellows, greens, blues, teals, and they are all so pretty. Hello. Again, I have other extra ones in the back. And then the last drawer is all of the golds, the nudes, silvers, blacks, um, iridescents, and multicolors. Again, very, very sparkly. Some of these, I love this one, it's so pretty. Um, so these again are all just custom mixes that I have done and then on the end you have extra um, pots just so that you can mix more and place them. And that, my friends, is it. Okay guys, that is it. I'm sorry, I know it was a long video, I tried to talk as fast as I could and get through things as quick as I could. So if you stuck around through the whole video, thank you, I appreciate it. And hopefully you learned something or you saw something that you wanna implement in your own salon or you know something that you think is a good idea or if you have ideas um, or things that you wanna share with me, um, I wanna see them too because I'm always looking for new ways to organize um, my drawers. I think we all are. We always want to find the best way. So that being said, thank you again. I know it was a long video and I appreciate you sticking around. Have a great day.